Bueno amigos del octágono, aquí le habla Randall, el flaco y Fañe, y tengo el placer aquí de estar con el presidente de UFC, Dana White. Dana, first off, I want to say congratulations on the Fox deal for the U.S. I know it's a big step up for us here, uh, having the FX and a few additions and all that stuff. Um, how excited were you when you first uh, got the word that it's going to happen? Well, we've been negotiating for nine months with all of the networks, and the Fox thing really sped up the last... I don't know, three weeks. And as it got closer and closer, you know, you get excited. I don't get too excited about things anymore until they're done. And, and even though the deal was done, I didn't really get excited until we made the announcement. That's when you know that a deal is, is finally done. And to explain to you how I feel now and how, how pumped I am for this deal, it's, it's beyond words. This is the dream deal. This is the deal that I've always wanted. And we noticed you had a lot of the fighters there on the day of the press conference when you made the announcement on, well, on UFC.com. Um, one of the things is that we noticed Rashad Evans after this mentioning that he would actually prefer fighting on a, fight, on a Fox card instead of on a pay-per-view just because of the chance of having more viewers. Uh, what are the chances of seeing like those names, those big names like Rashad Evans and possibly like Anderson Silva or something like that in a Fox card? Well. We have to deliver four big fights a year for Fox, and obviously we want to pull big numbers, and so do they. And I think that we've become known for, for delivering big cards, whether it's on pay-per-view or on free TV. We put on great fights. That's why the brand has become so big, and, and, and uh, people uh, love the UFC, is because we usually deliver. So believe me when I tell you, you know how excited I am about this deal. We will deliver. Yeah, we noticed your excitement in the in the conference itself. It looked like you just wanted to keep jumping around. But uh, aside from the the fact that you know you have all these big names interested in fighting on there, there's already started a lot of rumors, and I know you've seen a lot of them. Uh, the chances of seeing uh, Brock Lesnar on the on one of the Fox cards, and then the the negotiations that are I'm guessing ongoing with Ali Star at the moment. The recent rumor going around, I don't know if you've heard it, is uh, they're saying, oh, if Anderson wins. Uh, maybe a chance of seeing uh, Anderson and Dan Henderson going back up to middleweight or things like that, like weird rumors. What do you think of those rumors going on with Anderson Silva, Dan Henderson, and even possibly removing Chael Sonnen from his fight with Brian Stan to moving him to a Fox card with Anderson Silva for a rematch? Well, I think that, that some of the rumors make sense and some of them don't. And I think that, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about lots of different options. And the one that, that, that looks like it's going to happen hasn't been rumored or mentioned. So <laughs> we've done a good job of keeping it a uh, secret. Well, that works out good. And But speaking of, of Ali Star, like, what, what's the status right now? Right now, Because we know he has an, a fight coming up in, in the Golden Glory situation and all that. But what's the situation with Ali Star right now? Yeah, he, you know, everybody knows what happened in the beginning where you know we said basically we can't do business the way that these guys do business well they came back and said all right we'll, we'll do it the way that you want to do it so we're in talks again we're talking and and hopefully we can come to an agreement and come to terms with Alistar I'd love to have him in the UFC one thing we've noticed recently is the Facebook fights um, is that going to continue now with the ongoing Fox deal or is that going to go away with the prelims and all that stuff yeah it will go away when, when the Fox deal starts which is in January because all that programming now I mean the, the reason we did the Fox fight uh, the uh, Facebook fights was because nobody could see those fights so we put them up on Facebook as an option for fans because we always love to give more fights uh, but the fact that Fox wants to pick up all these fights they'll be on television now yeah, that's very exciting, at least uh, for UFC. I know you guys must be very excited with that. And I guess last question would be, uh, last time we had Cain Velasquez down here in Miami, he drank a Cuban Espresso. I don't know if you had a chance. He completely didn't like it. But if you've had a chance to try a Cuban Espresso yet down here in Miami. I never have. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee or any stuff like that. So I, I'm, I'm sure I would definitely not like a Cuban, Mexican, American, Canadian, whatever kind of espresso it is, I'm positive I wouldn't like it. And I guess last I want to ask you this, because this is something that's always been around you, is the Twitter battles that you always have. How pumped do you get with those Twitter wars that you have online with uh, either fans or even sometimes even, even other journalists that uh, go ahead and criticize certain situations? Yeah, I, well, it's, you know, it's one of those things. The thing that I love about Twitter is you get to talk directly to everybody. There's no middleman. There's there's no there's no cush. So if you come on Twitter and you say dumb shit to me, 
I'm going to say dumb shit back to you. You know, I'm not that guy that's going to sit back and, and just ignore you. And I don't block anybody either. So, it's a, you know, a lot of people what to do is just block them. Let, hey, let's, let's bang it out. You want to come on Twitter and, and, and you've got your opinion. And, you know, I let you have your opinion. You can say whatever you want, but you're going to get mine too. Yeah, works out like that, and it's been exciting seeing it. <laughs> but thanks for being with us here on El Octagono. Uh, otra vez, Randa del Flaco Yafaña con el presidente de UFC, Dana White. Again, congrats on the Fox deal, man. It's thanks, awesome. Buddy. Appreciate it. All right. See you now. Visit El Octagono for all the latest in MMA, news, fight results, interviews, live event coverage, podcast, and video capsules. All this and much more in Spanish. Find all your MMA needs here inside El Octagono, the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish. El Octagono.com